everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time, we sailed to sea in the southeastern waters and discovered many a new thing. We went over here, and then we went over this way, and then we discovered a frog, and then I just kind of treasured, hunted, and derped around in this area for a little while, and that ate up a lot of time. Oh, and the, I guess there was like a traveler's ship visit in there somewhere, and then we came all the way back here, and it looks like some kind of like winged dragon now, and then we circumnavigated the island, and then we made it to the Isle of Frost, which I am so glad we are here. Just when you thought the entire game was going to use the same generic grassy tile set, Finally, we have theming unique to an area. Hello, buddy. What is your name? You guy you came from out there outside the ice. What is your deal? Never seen an Anuki before You're gonna stare at are you gonna stare all day at us or can you talk to what you want to know where the pure metals are? How should I know you got to take a question like that to the island chief me? No idea Anuki are a very remote Zelda species, not living in very many areas around the world, and not seen in too many non-handholdy titles. Uh, handholdy titles. Handheldy titles. Handholdy titles, yes. The more tutorial driven, the more likely these guys are to be in it. That's why nobody likes them. <laughs> the Yuke tribe that lives over in the icy fields uh, to the east are crazed animals. Those beasts are so crazy, I don't even want to get into it. That crazy. Uh... Well, that didn't go well. Too bad I didn't have the Song of Healing. I guess we're going into a house to reset. Whoa, nice place you got here, buddy. It's like those Chinese ice hotels. Nobody thought trouble between the Anuki and Yuke was a good thing. We Anuki are, and those hairy Yuke got together a hundred years ago and entered into a little peace agreement. What is this peace? It's a peace treaty, you know. Peace. Peace is like... I, I think it's like a piece of cake. <laughs> what do you say on the other option? I thought you were going to be like, peace is like rice. I like peace and I like rice, so it's like rice. I don't know why I'm referencing so many, like, Asian things here. I kind of took them more to be Eskimos, to be perfectly honest with you, and I swear I'm not stereotyping. It's just <laughs> coincidence in a short... Oh, I don't get to talk to you again. You're lame. You're one of those NPCs who thinks they're special and doesn't just exist in the RAM, but exists in the perma memory. Ugh. Uh, those Yuke, they're hairy, weirdo, crazy weirdos, I tell you. Uh, what is... Right, the sign. The home of a somewhat smart, <laughs> somewhat smart Anuki. What about this one? The home of a more or less sensitive Anuki. You guy, did you hear the big news? One of those hairy Yuke has sneaked over here. Uh, huh? What do you mean? Oh, you're not special. What? You know? Hey, maybe you're the hairy Yuke dressed up to look like one of us got me. What? You're a Yuke! Ah, really? You serious? <laughs> and we can't talk to him anymore. <laughs> this place is pretty funny. It's off to a solid start. Uh, oh, are you... He's everywhere. Oh, uh, no. I knew it. <laughs> This is pretty good. We got a treasure chest up on a ledge. We can't do anything with it right now. Oh, there's one of those. Uh, by popular request. Postidon. I had some people telling me that that would be a really good name for the next post, and I was kind of worried that we weren't going to run into more posts before getting whatever item deals with them, so, uh, yeah, we actually got to do it. What? You're looking for the island chief's house. You know, here's an idea. Instead of asking me, go read the signs around here. Are there signs around there? You're also standing right next to him, though, so why don't you go read them if you're so smart? Island Chief's house. <laughs> you're being very backwards. How do we keep freezing in a place like this? Oh, wh what? What? What did he actually say? I skipped ahead by accident. Oh, I guess now I'll never know, or I can slow it down in editing later and find out. I'm on the edge of my seat, and I will love to know that information later on. Is there any point to this ledge over this way? I mean, good digging stuff is per usual. You can pick up stuff with your sword, even if it's on a ledge below you. All that matters is that the sword overlaps with it. It's pretty cool. And, uh, Island Chief time. You guy, I'm the Island Chief of the Anuki. You got a name, Green Guy? Apparently not. I've been referred to as just Green Guy before. Link about, uh, so Link about, uh, my tribe is having this trouble lately. I thought maybe you'd take care of it for us. Um, 
What's that you say? You're saying your name's actually Link? You sure about that guy? All right, all right, whatever you say. Anyway, you want to know about Azurine, right? I'll scratch your fur, you scratch mine. I'm only 15. No, really? Uh, oh, he... <laughs> These guys really do not... These guys play by the rules. They're not one of the... They're pretty honest critters. They're not those ones that are all like, oh, even if you say no, I'm going to force you to help us. No, these guys really mean it. We, Anoki, have gotten uh, a one enemy on this island. They're the Yuk. There's a lot of bad blood between our ancestors. So, 100 years ago, we made an agreement. The Anoki live on the west, and those hairy Yuk live over in the east on the Great Ice Field. That was the deal, but now some tricky Yuk have snuck over here. And he's taken one of my villagers! Now he's pretending to be him and living with us, all comfortable like. And now, we need to come to the part where I need something from you. Find the Yuk who's impersonating a villager and kick him out! Did you get that? Do I need to repeat myself? I, I've learned my lesson. I ain't saying no to you because you really are going to repeat yourself. <laughs> when you get there, you got to figure out which guy is the actual you. You are liars. Every one of them. This one will lie to you, so don't be gullible. Maybe if you find him, I might just tell you where the Azurine is. Just saying. We got six houses up above in the estates. What's that crazy island chief blabbering about? I get this weird feeling he's not telling us the truth. But we're here for the pure metals. Well, I'll just have to be careful. Go and find the Yuke so we can find that pure metal, Link. Unfortunately, this, for better or worse, is not Sonic 06, so the liar is not the chief himself that you can talk to right away when you want to go turn it in. I I really love that puzzle. You know the one like where there's the, uh, the guards and you have to figure out which one of them the captain is if you've ever played Sonic 06, and it's just the first guy that you can talk to right away and you don't even have to go and talk to them to find out which one is the liar. I first saw that puzzle in a Let's Play, and it's so memorable to me because the guy playing actually thought to go do that right away, just to go talk to the uh, first guy and say that he was the captain, and everybody was shocked, and he's like, guys, I think you're overestimating this game. <laughs> it was so funny, and uh, I will never forget that. Every time there's any one of these puzzles where you have to talk to everyone and figure out they're lying, that is instantly the first thing that comes to mind. Dobo's house. Uh, wow, we have lots of posts. Uh, post bed. Like a bed post, only backwards. <laughs> Running out of room for this. Is there something here? Yes! Treasure map! All the way back there, too. I'm making a mess out of these maps, wow. <laughs> okay. Time to talk to all these six and see what they say. I'm going to write down what they say with the very little space that I have allotted myself. They call me Dobo. It's an easy way to know the Yuke are all liars. And Mazo's honest. The guy never lies. Just had to get that off my chest. So Mazo honest. Either Mazo or Aru is lying to you. Gumo never lies. There's also another post over this way. Postingly. Dobo only tells the truth. Kumu is lying. Looks like I wrote Kyre. <laughs> okay. So now that we have this all written down, if you can make remote heads or tails of what I have done here, you probably can't, but hey, Link is adorably looking at his map, and I like that animation because your eyes are almost never on it, and it's really cute, and I want to draw attention to it. The key to this is finding out which statement can be removed and have everything still make sense, find the Anoki that said that, and then go and rat him out. So F or A is lying. K is lying. I can't work like this. I wrote all that down and I'm having trouble keeping it straight, so I'm just gonna talk to them again and write it in a Word document. I'm sorry, I like your note-taking features. It's a cool mechanic to design a game, but I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. This specific type of puzzle makes my head hurt. Whenever I play Professor Layton, as much as I love that series, whenever one of these comes up, I just brute force it. The hint that I've heard is that if an Anoki says that another Anoki is telling the truth, you know that it can't be them because there's only one liar, and for another Anoki that is telling the truth to also be a liar, it can't really work out. So 
we can absolve Dobo, Mazo, and Fofo, saying that they are all telling the truth by saying that other ones are honest. Out of the three remaining, that is, Kumu is saying that Mazo or Aru is lying, which means we can take out Mazo and just say Aru. Gumo says that Fo Fofo or Aru is lying. We can just take out Fofo because we know that he's telling the truth. So we are left with two saying that Aru is lying and Aru shifting the blame to somebody else. Yeah, you be better be pretty nervous. You better be pretty nervous. I got lots of intel on you. It's called reading a walkthrough because I am not good at these puzzles. Get back. I said, stay back. I'm innocent. You come at me. I swear I have to protect myself. Don't come any closer. Think about what you're doing. Don't be stupid. All you have to do is say you made a mistake. Book em, boys. Hey, how'd you figure it out? And I thought I had an amazing costume. You're a uke? You look so innocent. And you just look like a you look just like Aru. What do you mean you look just like Aru? Ciela, we've never seen who this Aru is before in our lives, and we don't even know what a uke is. For all we know, maybe they look exactly the same. Be quiet! You yell anymore with that squeaky voice? He drives me wild! He gets some kind of monster! I'm going to eat you! No, I'm not tasty, I taste awful eek! I'm yellow, but I don't taste anything like delicious fruit! I actually taste a lot more like the other thing that's yellow! Whoa, eh, of course not. I could try and make a run for it, but I guess I might as well give in now that I've been caught. The show of good faith, I'll show you something good! Wait right there, don't move. Ugh, <laughs> oof, ouch. What happened? That was crazy, wasn't it, Link? Went to all the trouble finding you and he blew us away! But if we don't do anything, he'll just get away. It's not fair. Let's go talk to the allergy. No, how about let's go back in there and kick his ass? Or he has powers of teleportation. I should have counted on that, having never met a Yuke before. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've come off whiny. I'm sure some people really do like these puzzles. I'm just not trying to sugarcoat it and act like I know more than I really do. I really am just that bad at these, so... I'm telling it like it is. I've gotten it wrong on proper tests and stuff because it's been on math tests that I've taken before. Ugh, I don't, I don't like it. What, already? Yeah, I did. You scared the Uke right out of the village. Uh, sure, let's go with that. Now the people can rest easy and sit their savory stew in peace. But uh, don't you feel a little mad about getting blown away like that? Don't you want to get revenge on those Uke? Maybe. Hmm, yeah. Of course I want to get revenge. <laughs> of course, no one can resist a little revenge. I'm gonna open up the cave to the great ice field to the east. Euchre over there. You can get all the revenge, go get yourself all the revenge you can. That azurine you're looking for should be in the Temple of Ice. This map is such a mess. Oh my gosh, what have I done to this thing? <laughs> Might as well just color in the whole thing black at this point. You, guy. Try jumping on top of that peg thing right there. It's fine. What, you hate pegs? They do something to you. Go on, give it a try. Balancing. There's a whole pack of nasty you roaming around the great ice field. What? How do they, how do, how are they nasty? Oh, guy, do you, you, you do not want to know. You, guy, I got word from the island chief about you. Want to head through here or what? Nah. Well, wasn't expecting that answer. <laughs> yeah, you thought I learned? Uh, no. You don't know me very well. Okay, that is the village on the Isle of Frost and the way open forward to the Temple of Ice. I think with everything done in town, next time on The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, we go in and we look for the Azurine Metal to forge our sword with. See you guys then.